Tickling, a controversial sensation and its evolutionary interpretations. Tickling is a peculiar sensation that is both associated with laughter and an unpleasant feeling, so much so that we use the term suffering to describe it. Despite its prevalence, medicine and psychological sciences still lack definitive answers regarding this phenomenon. However, recent advances in functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI) have shed some light on the matter. We spoke with the experts at Humanitas to learn more. Evolutionary Interpretations There are two types of tickling, intense, gargalesis, and mild, nismesis. The former is typically associated with laughter, while the latter is more akin to itchiness and not necessarily linked to laughing. Evolutionary interpretations suggest that this duality serves as a mechanism to learn how to protect vulnerable body parts through social play, a lesson that is taught to children from an early age. It is no coincidence that only certain parts of the body are sensitive to tickling, the armpits, the sides of the torso, the belly, the neck, and, for some individuals, the ears, feet, and the back of the knees. A Primordial Defense Mechanism Researchers from the University of Tübingen propose that tickling activates the part of our brain that anticipates pain, serving as a defense mechanism to signal submission and prepare for flight. The laughter elicited from tickling could be part of an attack or flee response. According to this theory, parents tickle their offspring to teach them how to react in the face of danger, a playful educational exercise that simulates surrendering when confronted with a physically superior adversary while anticipating a possible and desirable escape. FMRI Results To test these theories, the German researchers monitored 30 volunteers with an FMRI scanner, exposing them to humorous scenes and tickling their sensitive areas. The laughter from both scenarios activated the Rolandic region of the brain, responsible for facial movements, vocalizations, and emotional responses. Alternatively, tickling could be considered an interactive means and context through which children learn to consolidate relationships, especially with their parents. In this sense, tickling may be the evolutionary basis for adult humor. People who are more prone to tickling are also more likely to be humorous and smile at everyday life.